the main event. My wife. Where do I start? To me, you're everything. My best mate, my partner in crime, and the love of my life. I'll spend the rest of our lives trying to make you feel loved the way you make me feel loved. I'll forever try to be a source of amusement to put a smile on your beautiful face and to hear your infectious giggle. I'll work tirelessly and relentlessly to provide the home and security that you and our future family deserve. But most importantly, I promise to love you and cherish you until the day we die. I remember the day Tom told me about their first date. As we all know, Tom was a confident fellow, but there was a nervousness to his excitement that I'd not heard in him before. This time was different, his girl meant more. Tom mentioned he was worried that Faye didn't feel the same connection. Little did he know, this time was different, the boy meant more. my heart to see the way Faye looks at Tom. She looks at him as if he's the last and only man on earth, and to her, I know he is. I've seen these two be there for each other through life's unexpected twists and turns, only growing stronger with each setback. I've seen them share laughs and adventures. Most shocking of all, I've seen Tommy share his dessert. <laughs> and everybody knows Tommy doesn't share food. <laughs> As I mentioned before, marriage isn't easy. It takes patience, honesty, and trust. It requires you to change and adapt to others' quirks and habits, to love each other unconditionally no matter the circumstances, or the ups and downs that life throws at you. Whatever you go through, whatever challenges you face, do so together as one. With laughter and joy, <laughs> I can promise you with all my heart. Our celebrant, ladies and gentlemen. It's worth it just to look upon the one person you've chosen to spend the rest of your life with, with complete amour. I'm really sorry just to start saying this, but Faye Maria Darcy Stedman is such a lovely, kind of beautiful girl she really bloody is there really has been some awful little things that have happened the last year or so I really am so sorry for not being able to speak like I used to and thank you for everything you have been do doing for me I really do love you absolutely so bloody much but for right now I'd like if everyone could just say congratulations Mr and Mrs Darcy Stedman chin chin Tom it's been 1835 days since we took the leap from friendship to much more and since then, we've experienced so many incredible moments together as a couple, but what I love the most is that friendship is still the strong foundation of what we have. We laugh together, we cry together, and we whinge together. We are the best of friends, and we're so similar in many ways, but the different parts of us balance out the other perfectly. Standing in front of you today is a very different girl to the one you knew five years ago. You've taught me to open up to my feelings, try to see the positive in all situations, not to sweat the small stuff, and you've always allowed me to be myself. On top of this, you've never once quibbled about my big bright ideas. <laughs> you are the perfect partner to enjoy life with, and you make everything better. You're a true gent. I didn't grow up fantasising about getting married one day, it just wasn't really something I'd paid much attention to. But from the day we started dating and I got to know your values and priorities, I could picture marrying you. You made me feel loved, safe and happier than ever. And the fact we're here now today, celebrating our marriage with our nearest and dearest, is beyond my wildest dreams. You are beyond my wildest dreams. 